My understanding is things used to be a lot better in, like, or not a lot better, like, the focus on accessibility was a lot better back in the early days of Linux, but now a lot of that funding has shifted into other locations, and, like, uh, considering, like, how much better Windows is at this point, there's just not as much of a focus on doing it. I know Red Hat, a couple of years ago, maybe, like, a year or two ago, did hire someone specifically to work on GNOME, who, I want to say they were, I want to say they, they were blind. I might be, I might be mistaken. I'm not sure what specifically their condition was, um, but was hired to specifically work on accessibility. I don't know how that ended up going, what they've ended up doing. Um, but the issue is just, you know, there's so much stuff to work on in the FOSS space, and most people doing it are volunteers, and... You know, if you're a volunteer, you're going to work on the things that you're particularly interested in. And most people aren't interested in working on a calendar. That's why there's hardly any contributors. Most people aren't interested in working on accessibility stuff. They'd rather go work on some, like, new exciting feature. I don't know, uh, window blur or something. I don't know, something like that. Like, something they find personally interesting. And whilst it's great that we've gotten so far with the way that we do things in the FOSS world... There's always going to be those areas which just don't get as much focus. I'm genuinely impressed with how good translations are in the FOSS world. Like, that's that by itself is already impressive, but there's still a lot of areas that are not getting the time and development they need. Yeah, um, I mean, I'd say as well, like, I mean, I can't really comment on accessibility in the past. Mm. Uh, because I wasn't using Linux back then, like right. ten years ago. Uh, but at least, like the only thing, like I will assume is that the state of accessibility now and like ten years before, or even twenty years before, were like I I'd say they're like it's very possible that they are like very like similar. Like you know, the ex at least uh, how do I say this? Like, it didn't have a lot of advancements. Right. Like, yeah, it's basically as good as years it was, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like, so 20 years ago, it's like, it, you know, it was considered good. Mm -hmm. But fast forward 20 years later, that's, it's not good anymore. Like, right. Yeah, that's how I see it. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of the accessibility stuff are like, very old and haven't been, they haven't really changed. Um, There is someone and like about the person working on accessibility his name is lucas mm -hmm. uh let me let me send his uh let me find his uh uh w like his mastodon oh, thing yeah, awesome uh because i i didn't follow up with what was going on at the time when that happened um mm -hmm. yeah okay uh this person um Mm -hmm. I, I did talk to him a few times and he does he does contribute a lot to like Gnome's accessibility. Mm -hmm. It's it's really nice. And he does work at Red Hat and, and yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I, that, that was, <laughs> I wasn't sure if I got the details correct, but yeah, it's it's been a it's been a little bit. Um mm -hmm. but no that that is awesome that is done. It's but it's like the same problem with really like any problem. Like the HDR issue, for example, like that's been that's been an issue for so long, and it's only just now starting to get dealt with because, you know, people are working on other things, and like it, it's understandable. But it would be nice if more things could be worked on, and like more of these little issues that are not little. What do I call it? Like a, it's a small problem with a big impact, I guess. Like you know, adding yeah. in really good keyboard support, for example. Like that's a small problem. But the people that that will impact is like absolutely massive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or like good magnifying tools, for example. Yeah. Or a good like voice, the screen reader voice thing. Yeah, whatever, that. Whatever they're, they're called. I, I I don't know what you do about that problem. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's magic. Uh... Look, maybe look, maybe the AI voice synthesis stuff in some way helps with that but then you start getting into like weird like licensing stuff and i don't 
I don't know where that's going to end up going, because that would solve the problem fairly easily. But mm -hmm. we're all already, like, there's a lot of weird lawsuits that are happening regarding that. It's really unclear, like, like what exactly the state of the tech's going to be and how different jurisdictions are going to handle it. Like, what, what are you going to be allowed to do with it? How are you going to have to disclose it's being used? All of this stuff is still very much, very much being dealt with right now. Mm hmm Yeah, and there's also this other person. Uh, his name is... Wait, hold on, let me... His name is Matt Campbell. Mm hmm Uh, and he does a lot of accessibility stuff as well. Mm hmm Uh, I don't know if you've ever, like, read his articles. Um, Very possibly. But... Yeah, so like, he's working on Access Kit, mm -hmm. and he's also working on Wayland accessibility, like, by a crazy amount. Mm -hmm. Like, here's a link. Um, but yeah, this person is, like, amazing as well. Mm -hmm. uh, updates on my Wayland accessibility work. Current draft protocols. Uh, this link here. The provider application and consumer, e.g. screen reader protocols, are now separate. We may still end up going with DBus for the consumer side. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah no, I, I did check out this one earlier. Yes. Bono. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pro bono is gonna make his own uh um I guess quote unquote standard. <laughs> but I don't, like of all the like right, I can understand concerns with like system D. I don't agree with them, but I can understand them. I don't know how anyone has an issue with D bus. Like what possible problem could you have with dbus i get that some people don't like dbus and instead go for dbus broker but nobody's arguing against the dbus protocol may you might have implementation issues but <laughs> what distro is not using dbus besides like the weird like niche ones that a lot of stuff doesn't work on anyway yeah uh i'm not sure if dbus is a thing on bsd so i guess but Fair enough. Fair I, I enough. would assume that. Yeah, uh, like I don't know much about BSD, but I guess to some extent that might be a problem. Mm -hmm. Um, from uh, as far as I know, Wayland isn't really focused. Like they they're not really focused on BSD. Mm -hmm. Uh, so yeah, that that's bad for them, I guess. <laughs>